It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Do you read me? Yeah, Jonas, what you're seeing right now is what I like to call a trip. This blank stare thing Alex will do sometimes. You might think something's wrong, but there isn't. She's just rebooting. Okay, noted. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just... Did that make you to her then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people math works. Um, step-brother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Where? Smelling up your bathroom. I, uh, have my own toothbrush. Well, throw it out. It's useless now. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> and to date, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their way. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Joan AIDS guy? Um, polio. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a... Which I played, because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the- Bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? 
Can I have like two, and you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just, that's kind of... It'll take three tops. But, <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's be buddies. Just never mind. I've already made everyone uncomfortable, so... No, it's... You're not making anyone uncomfortable, but... I mean, let's all just go up. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah. Fine, sure. No problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the tent is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts, all right. Yeah, basically, seniors get prom, sophomores paint that weird statue thing green, and juniors do this. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies, dishes, or just sounds. And they're impossible to get anywhere else on the island. Crazy, right? So back up again. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her fam- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that it used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. But yeah. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so don't get too used to her. Look, Alex, I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl. Totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, it was nothing, really. Over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. I just wanted to make sure you guys saw where we were before it got too dark. And Jonas, that's. Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. Sound fresh as stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yep. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even... Um, uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. This is happening. Oh, this is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> but it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the picture now. Emily, this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this...
fire. Man's greater. So what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere, she's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all... Man, really? And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. Uh, I to know something. Unless you lie a lot. It's just a good hitting game. <laughs> um, all right, I'm in. Let's do it. Okay, so, fuss Start. Right. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something this like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This was very enjoyable. We all know he's lying, we just can't prove it. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> Whatever, man. Okay, it's Ren's turn. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think <laughs> about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Okay. Mary screw kill, Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically, so he's excluded. Why, thank you. Earth to Alex. This is mission control. You read me? Hit and a forfeit's the same as a lie, which means the penalty's the same. So she's uncomfortable. It's fine. It was a stupid question anyway. We don't have to, you know, incur them for whatever. So Alex's turn. Yep, ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something. Who to ask. Oh, what's your favorite animal? Podcast. The same. Okay, you really think we're doing anything? Well, um, no, no. Oh, uh, Clarissa. Two. What would it be? Hmm. Riding a motor on fire. I ask you. Get like a little ampersand on my finger. Actually, after I move out, so my parents can't. Me. Got a new brother. Pretty Jonah is excited, or me. Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just unsure. It's a lot. You can't do. I'm, um, fine. Today. Well, it's fine, BA, right? I'm just what Jonah's already thinking. It's statistical. You get divorced once, probably divorce again, and the fact is, I'm just your dad, so let's put his mind in here. Why? I don't I don't really need to know the station before. It's, it's none of my. It is your business. You're only now, so let's. Why did your parents get a divorce, Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure unless you know why? Silence counts as a lie, Alex. All right, you know what? Let's just stop the game, okay? I think everyone's ready to do something else. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And get... that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Cheese! If you guys in your rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> You're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Well, if you wanna, just let me know and we'll hop over. <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh. Uh, he, uh, 
They went to that weird carnival. How do you even get Jenny out of the house? <laughs> I don't know. Island living, huh? Uh, yep. All right, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. Unless I get a crink in my back, which might happen if you don't go soon. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? I'm going with 8. I think Ren knows his caves. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Just know, you know, it's not about you. It's her own messed up crap and whatever. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never mind, that sounds worse. Hmm. Delicious. So, see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna wanna stand basically right around here. And just to dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know... No. Trust me. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. If you move around, it kind of changes too. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or- God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... I'm just gonna go with blood curdling. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. No, there's, I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies filled bat or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. That was an odd image. Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic.
<sighs> Jesus, he scared me. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought, I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this, how this happens. It's crazy. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. I guess it stopped. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. How is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exit, um, cave, triangle rainbows. Oh my god. Is this, are you, is this you? Are you doing this? You can't even, like, what is... what? Don't understand what you're saying. Bob two. Leave, children. Bye. Soon. Alex. Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were dead for a minute. You look... alive, I guess. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, buddy, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. Oh, and not for nothing, I'm there's right for it, but if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to come clean is now, I think. I guess the fact that you're in shock is a point against prank. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something.
Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Jesus! Hey, who is that? Is anyone there? Jonas? What's with you? Yes, she's just not talking, for whatever reason. Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff... I have no idea what happened, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> so you know, that's a freebie. How'd you get this number? It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like... Like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, worse than Kendall's basement horrible. And... Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? What's that sound? Is there a cat crying in there? Ren, just wait a sec. It's... Ren, it was just the other line, but... I don't know, I, I guess we're not answering it. Like, Dick Harden's one thing, but I'm kind of super freaking freaked out right now. And I'm not doing well. I'm really not. Things are kind of going psycho all over. What do you mean? Is that the phone again? Don't click over. That has to be somebody. Like, like a guard or something. Look, Alex, just... Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the world is conspiring against us, I swear to God. <sighs> we should go get him. Before he, I don't know, gets lost or.
I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genu- like trees. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going, right? <sighs> Great. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. I can't believe you even made it. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood and slats that isn't hung by what looks to be twine? It looks... Power transfer station 167. Okay, that's a little bit locked it, right? Or not, I guess. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Just let do it. That way if something bad happens, you know, don't, don't give me that look. Uh, what did you flip? Cause it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah! I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Was that there before? <sighs> what a night, huh? Yep, what a night. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Praise the Lord.
Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I made it sound like. I mean, it must have been nice having this right here, just a little two-hour boat right away, right? Yeah, I can see this place being cool like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. I mean, it's quaint. It's like being back in the 50s. The you used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. I mean, it must have been nice having this right here, just a little two-hour boat right away, right? I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. That's a long drive for pretty much nothing. I look back on it now, and those dumb trips are kind of like... They're just you used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. I mean, it must have been nice having... Actually... Man, do you ever get deja vu? Cause I just got the biggest one I've had in a while. It's like practically a stomach ache. I mean, sorry if I'm rambling here. Are you, um, I mean, what are you thinking? <sighs> are we lost or is it something else? I mean, this is, uh, new. Um... I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Okay, what is going on, seriously? Okay, what is going on, seriously? I'm... this isn't, like, fun anymore. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? Alex, think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. Wait, wait. We've done this before. It's all right. We must have just missed um something. Huh. This looks it's like super old, but man, it's almost spotless. It's one of those, um... You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Let's just keep going and get Ren. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. Yeah. 
Is that Nona? Did it just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't move. Come on, Nona. We've been looking for everyone. This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. And I bumped into you once already. And it was horrible. So we're going to take it a little slower this time. So just look. You're not going to talk about my grandfather. You're just going to stand there politely and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Because I've been looking. We're actually looking for Ren. We think he's in the woods somewhere. Have you seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now too, but can you do me a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there and it seems pretty safe. And the comm tower is where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you, you're really you, really? Quit it, seriously. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. But I guess, whatever. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go in a circle? I bet you know. I bet you know exactly why there used to be tracks here and you're holding out on me. Can I ask you something? You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like I wouldn't find any of interesting? Man, your silence is deafening. And I'm only asking because I sometimes get these whiffs of, I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Oh man, thank God. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? I've convinced myself that's the issue here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's fine. Let's, um, let's go. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Well, I guess I'll... There's your boy. Ren! Hey, have you seen any of the others? Um... Ren? Ren! What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it. So, I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. Hey, 
Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. Um, crap. I don't... Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We got... Whoa, is this... Is that hell hurting? It's doing something, but... Jesus, Ren, are are you? Oh God! Talk through, child. Feels stretched. Better. No. Want hard to say. Need relief. Please. Powder. But do not. Needs to. You are dolls. Would never. Plot. Hurt. You. Can't. Hurt. Hurt. You. To. Be. Sure. Leave. Possible. Grounded. By. Adler. The. Uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little. Poppy. Bleating. Cow. You guys? God, Ren! Man! My heart's going like a hummingbird in a... in a car or something. What just happened? Why? Why is this... why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. And before now, the worst thing that ever happened was like, a kid would lose his shorts to the undertow. Something... Listen, we did something weird with the radio in the cave. What... what do you mean? Did you... Did you curse the island? Did you curse this island, you witch, you? And we... Are we gonna have to kill a virgin? No, none of that. We just accidentally kick-started the whole hell on earth thing. Yeesh. If we don't have our skin tomorrow, I'm blaming you. Guys, anyone... Is this thing working? If Tony? anyone can hear this, out there, in a... whatever. I, I'm at the comm tower on Edward's Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I'm trying to communicate with them. Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. So Nona's at Harden, and Clarissa's at Milner. How do you know Clarissa's at Fort Milner? She called me right after I called you, but the line died pretty quick. Oh, maybe at the tower it was her on the other line. Oh yeah, maybe. Look, we'll split up. You guys do that, and I can go tend to the lovely damsel distressed in the old tower. I wish you wouldn't put it that way, but... Have at it, ye. All right, well, guess we're going that away, so we'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. Milner Ho? Ho. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere.
Wren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned and there's like still people like in there, like doing stuff? Just what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is like the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something? And we've been catching, like, little slivers of it. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It's just funny, you know? I mean, not funny funny, but I don't know. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. I... I can't... gets on your, uh, case about his mom, just do what you feel is best, okay? Ow. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never... Okay, what just happened? Cause that, that sucked. Oh, here's a padlock code, 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I, did, did you see that? In, in the mirror? The reflection was weird. I'm gonna take a picture.
Just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Oh, gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you know. Look, I know, I know, I know, and I'm sorry, but if I don't do it, I'm gonna like, it feels like my bladder's gonna punch a hole in my chest. I'll force it out fast. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? You know, it just occurred to me she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. Or she's just being weird, I don't know. Hello? Is this thing, is this... God, is this... Is this going out, or... Wait, I can, ugh, oh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not... Ugh, man, maybe God, she didn't does, see does anybody... us, I don't know, but whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Ah. Uh. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Our friends are finding this tough. What is going on? Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody calls anything anything Eight. anymore. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Maybe not so easy, huh? Ah, God, freaking damn it. Hey, come on. Normally the guy's not drawn so much each time. Do you th think we want this, this? We don't want this. This isn't. Sport. But we tested, and so can you. We are an island race, and 
through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact. Man, I didn't need to get that far. Good moment, submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near... Couldn't you have tried a little harder there? I know it's not like your fault, but God. Wait, we lost, right? The whole hangman got drawn. So isn't there like some sort of penalty? Ah! Clarissa! your fingers. Uh, Clarissa. Wait, how did you, how did you even know I was here? Are you just aimlessly wandering around or did you hear my, did you hear me on the radio? Uh, kind of a bit of both actually. Look, Clarissa, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Why? Don't I look all right? Yeah, sure. My hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It, I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a way... The officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her down with something?
Larissa? I would have swore she was in here. Oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. Larissa. Alex, don't worry. She's like I never forget she's that like I am an American fighting for freedom, responsible for my animal. There will be other ships and other souls to sail them. Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're, oh, God! This is just, I just, I never, I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them, I'm, we'll, We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. That was... Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at... anything? Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This isn't... Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not... Ugh. How can anyone... Hey, I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged to, and I only spent half of it. The stupid radio has been... what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. It's science. A science. Oh, God.
This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. It's not, ugh. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Nona, it's sort of really complicated. It's okay. The Blue Streak version is its ghosts. That's all. That's what's going on. Ghosts are going on. Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh, oh, I got it. It's great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. What kind of boat? It's a, uh, you know, it's a, a boat boat, like a rowboat thing. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, 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 we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them was after you knew everything had gone to hell, so... (laughs) To balance out. To balance me out. That's it. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. This was your whole stupid thing. Guys, come on. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Social harmony? You all can barely even pretend to be friends. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You have no idea if there's a boat down there still. Just guys, please stop. We can we can fight on the way home. After we get the boat, and I guess if that's even what we're doing. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not not that you wouldn't be okay. She's fine. She's been using that thing like a machete the whole night. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Meathead... I'm eccentric. (laughs) You're not some hobo in a giraffe costume. You're a short loser in high school. Ugh, please, don't start up again. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. All right, she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings, it's fine. Let's just go. What? You've got to be... This is, are you, you're, no, this isn't hap, this isn't happening. Him? Him. Him? Ren, come on, it'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Alex? Just, just fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun, that's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay, before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys.
Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything that I said was that off-base. So just, sorry for the whole thing. It, I shouldn't have gone in on Ren at all. Look, I, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And I just wanted you to know so it... Just... My mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but... I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds and I'm not going to defend myself. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. I'm not going to say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be, and that's really about all I can say. This is, I wanna, this is whatever, but are you like religious at all? I mean, my dad said your mom wasn't, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know. I only bring it up because, well, because my mom was Methodist and, but I don't know. I was just wondering if you were. Is that? Oh my god, is that Clarissa? She's... Well, well, I was gonna say okay, but I'm not too sure about that. Clarissa, you feeling okay? Oh, Jesus, she has the... She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not... I am not getting used to this, I'll be honest. Uh, Clarissa? Maybe they wanna... Maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow? Is that the, like, point of trying to... Trying to, whatever, talk through us or something? Something else? Marissa, how are you, uh, doing, hon? Alan, oh, Jesus. You think you can control me? Clarissa? You're off. The little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Yeah. Steady, just, just take it easy. I'm fine. I can, I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You've just been through something. How did I get here? We, I think we were hoping you could tell us that. But I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. You really don't remember anything? 
No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. <laughs> and you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all screwed. There's no reason, Clarissa. Alex didn't cause this. Jonas, I'm sorry, but you don't know who you speak of, dear. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. She's not a bad... I've been with her the whole time, all right? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa... forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? Clarissa, I don't know what you're talking about, but this does not seem like the time or the place, so... No, this is exactly the time, exactly the place, before you go anywhere else with her. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free, he was out of here, until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. She makes bad things happen. Okay, enough, seriously. This is, Clarissa, this is so, I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She's. Enough, I mean it. Yeah, I have. But right now we're gonna break into that office and we're gonna find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No, what do you mean no? All the Alex in three. Wait, what, wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy, she was, it was like she was just here. Did she run back to the gate? Wait, I'm getting... It's deja vu again. Are we... Did we get glitched again? <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making... Making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... Why is any of this happening? Okay, well, I'm not gonna... Whatever, we're here... Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. <laughs> All right, let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. It says that... Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for... Wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate, too. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom... whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden, and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve.
Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit? Didn't you say you wanted to go swimming? Maybe you didn't. Am I being stupid right now? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. We didn't bring drinks? You didn't bring drinks. Oh, poo. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. <laughs> Why would I laugh at you? You're laughing right now. <laughs> Not because of... Oh my god, forget it. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins English. Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. All of us. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? He just, uh, he thinks you're a cool girl. So, I just thought you should know. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Glad you got it back, regardless. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? And look. I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? All right, I get it. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. Ah, uh, it looks better on you anyway. Alex, are you all right? Okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do you, do, do you know that? Uh, I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. 
Whatever. As long as you're back among the living, let's just head to the gate, try the radio. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the, well... I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Or... Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah, uh, cool. Oh, oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't find it? That is a nifty gizmo. Finally! Carissa! Oh, God, Jesus! You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? I don't know. I'm in like a heightened state right now. Are you okay, Clarissa? I feel like I've aged 10 years, but for the time being, let's go with fine. You look sprightly as ever. Um, what is that supposed to mean? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, perfect. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Remember that guy? We're your parents. Your kids better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah. Yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's, like, a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true.
54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? I just really don't get it. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. <laughs> oh, just come. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Thank you, Radio. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. You walked in here with clear eyes. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, once they call the fish alive, four, three, Two. One. The poor thing's life had just begun. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Wait, look at that. The little one's up and hit the silk. If you paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side. The little x-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. Sure, my other sense. Pay attention. I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. First light. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Mommy duck called quack, quack, quack. But four, three, two, one. No little ducks can park in back. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Silly boy. Fig leaf away. What you fail to find is a photograph of Margaret Adler and her friend Anna. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Anna tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time, and a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. But not an eternal recurrence. The waves, it's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. We will engulf. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. When our vessel touched on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so 
for you. We would spend our time wisely. And we thank you for your good service. So we can go on. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Ah, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? <laughs> Clarissa? Christ! I felt like I was, like I was dying. Alex, how hard is it to find an old woman's junk within a reasonable time frame? Yeah, that did not feel good. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Yes, that would appear to be the, um, the plan. Well, if we're going to the cave... All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the, uh, opener. You can, uh, skip this one, Alex. Yeah, hit the button to keep going. Alex, we've full- Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But how do we get in? Isn't that a pretty fundamental flaw here? Our oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Oh, sorry, this is like... this looks like the end, but from the... from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a clicking. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know.
Alex. Alex, okay, are you... are you back to normal? You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. I think Alex just wanted to make sure you guys were still kicking. We are fine. Well... Well, not fine, but okay. We're like orange on the color wheel of emotional stability. Sure. But seriously, let's split up. You have to do your part in the woods. We'll meet up after. You know what time it is? I checked mine, but ever since we've been jumping in and out of loops, or whatever we're calling them, it's been acting... I don't know, weird. It won't really give me the right time, or, like, work, really, at all. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? I just kind of wish that I felt like these ghosts were just a little concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all going to be shopping for school supplies. But maybe that's just me. Now the station's up at the top of the... <sighs> I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... Nona, what happened? He... He drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... He just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particularly done.
Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should take it. It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, we won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. <laughs> well, you can't say we never tried. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. Ugh. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they... Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? Anybody! Jonas? Jonas? Punch Alex if you can hear this. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery beacon hug or whatever we're doing? Right. Radio lock. Yeah, let's do it. keep forgetting this thing is that. Time's a waste. Okay, I just have to tune it. Like, actually wasted. Your body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys! Hello! We're here. We made it. Hello. Jeez, finally. Thank you. If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash out with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line, and we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Uh, hello? We're here. I think she's just stunned by your cavalier attitude to your own and soon death if we don't hurry up with this thing. Okay, all right. Fine. All right, you gotta, uh, put in the call? Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out.
idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think... Um... I think it's like Reset. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just... Like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... This isn't like a big thing. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... For whatever, senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. Okay, I know you don't want to hear this from me, but I'm the big brother and it's my job, and I know you say you didn't know that she had stolen her mom's car to go to the show, but that doesn't change the fact that mom and dad had told you you couldn't go. <sighs> just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. Oh, and I, uh, I wanted to tell you after our talk, I don't think I'm gonna see Clarissa anymore. I don't know. I don't know if it ever really felt right. But I don't know, that might just be me justifying it afterwards, you know? And she's depressed all the time. I really didn't want this to make it worse. <sighs> Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get delayed for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kinda, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even wanna be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Eh, whatever. I don't mean wine. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> Alex? You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. Come on, it's alright. 
I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. No, I just always do the poster. I mean, you get the option, right? The... there's an option to make a poster? Oh, definitely. Whose class are you in? Miss Underhill's. Oh! If you get... no, actually it'll still work, even with her. <laughs> no way. Yes way. It'll work, trust me. It'll sound like ridiculous as you're saying it, but I can attest. Hey, everything good? Yeah, everything went fine. But Rin, wait, seriously. In AP English, all you had to do was make a fake book cover poster at the end of the semester? Yeah, but the trick is you have to claim you're a kinesthetic learner. I have to make something with my hands, teacher. Or, yeah, well, I'm a real nutcase. Uh, so if this thing doesn't bend right, this might be, like, the last time any of us are us. So, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> Let's just say we'll see you later. <laughs> see you later. Come on, let's take a picture. Really quick. Ren, no. Just really quick. Custer's last stand style. That Contessa who farted on her deathbed. Just like, who cares? Let's do it. Screw it. <sighs> okay, I guess. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's getting worse, actually. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? Tim. You call him Tim. Huh. <laughs> it's... It feels, like, wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Wait, it's... Oh, damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Just get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like they've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before we head in there. I'm sorry. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean... It's, it sounds like it's her, like a recording, or it's just, it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that, the voice, right? Mom? Whoa, uh, Alex?
You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, wait your turn. Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... How is this possible? What's going on? Well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here.
Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. I've been like struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have like a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. Okay, so let's say you have two choices. One is safer. You know what? I'm not even going to shroud it in whatever. Look, I'm thinking of not going to school at all. Any school. I'm thinking of just forfeiting the money and not doing it. And I don't know, it's just a feeling I have, but I'm scared that if I let myself go, that'll be it. I'm never leaving. Listen to the thousand and one things I love about you, Alex. The fact that you don't care what people think about you will always hover around the top five. That's why I ask my little sister for advice all the time. And why I can still look at myself in the mirror. But anyways, all of that is why I need you to tell me. Really, what do you think I should do? Go to school here, or take a chance and leave? I'm guessing you want me to stay, but just don't want to say it. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. This is just, this is a just in case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any, but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, look who's finally awake. Maybe don't get up immediately. Hey! Yeah, if you're anything like me, you have a monster post-ghost hangover. God, you have that too? Alex, do you remember what happened? The tuning we did in the cave? It worked. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. So anyways, mission accomplished. Well, not... I mean, the mission was to just, like, have a little party. The more important new mission of getting away from the death party and the thanks for that go, as always, to the brother-sister duo of Alex and Michael for saving everyone. Boo! Oh, come on. <laughs> Just saying. We, like, totally helped sometimes. Yeah, Jonas and I, like, hid really well. Once we get some pancakes in her, she'll remember. Yeah, it's not like I'll be able to forget as much as I'd like to. Yeah, speaking of that, Jonas, buddy, this has not been the plan for the evening. Really, this was terrible. Sorry about that. I mean, I invited the poor guy. He just moved here with his dad, and... Yeah, we know. He picked you up in gym class so you could dunk the ball. Stop telling people that's how we met. It's not... Just never invite me to do anything ever again. <laughs> done and done. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... Is this... Rin, didn't you lose a book? Holy crap! This is it! Thank you! I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Oh, oh, prom. 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 You guys have fun with that. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? They have punch, and Mrs. Caitlin will spike it if you give it an hour. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, come on. No, no. What? We earned this one. Yeah, vamanos. Let's move it. No grumbling, no whining. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the, yeah, just here. 
Like, look. I'll just pick a random ass page. Come on, Alex. Get in here. Like, this. Here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. Ren always loved the town, but the island pretty much erased that in one fell swoop. He ended up going to college in California. The last time I talked to him, he was starting a band called Drunk Talk. So, business as usual. Nona, I think, is going to some ballet academy somewhere, but I kind of fell out of touch with her, to be honest. Clarissa fled to the East Coast, dropped out of college, and works at a boutique. Nobody really talks to her. Not even Michael is on good terms. I can't imagine she'll ever come back. Not if the island's here. Since Michael never left, we never had our going away thing at the lake, and so he never drowned. He stayed in town to get an engineering degree. He's content, but he sometimes thinks he would have been happier trying to go out on his own. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he just misses Clarissa. Jonas and I hung out just once more, but it was different, awkward. I never saw him again after school ended. I used to think that was kind of sad, you know? But I don't anymore. Things are what they are. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... <sighs> I don't know. It's good, I think. I, um... Well... If it matters. I'm... Taking some time off. Just to... I don't know. Readjust my priorities. Figure out what I want to do. But anyways... What time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry. I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Run's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. I hope he's not weird, or mean, or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something new, right?